some calcium. Yeah, just whop it on. I know, it's going to whop it on. That'll get stuck in your teeth if you do it like that. <laughs> and then, if you like, only up to you, we've got some soy sauce or wheat-free tamari, <gasps> of course. See, did you see me go, I don't I know. know. I know, is it? Is it's a soy sauce thing. I know, who would have thought that there's wheat in soy sauce? In this. And not well, this. not this. Cheers. Cheers. But in the regular kind. So right. when you go to a Japanese restaurant, if you're gluten-free, you better ask. Okay, so I'm warning oh. you, this is extremely messy. This is, it's kind of embarrassing to eat. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, we're gonna do our wrap now. Here we go, you ready? Yes. We won't judge. We love okay, you no matter good. what. no judgment. So just grab it and then like, like suck it in a little bit. Yes. And then, you know. Ooh, it's fun to wrap. It's like making a burrito. It's not it that is. bad. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I did it. And it's cute. Okay, before I take a bite, because this will be really messy and embarrassing. Really? Yeah. Okay. For this recipe, you can find it on our website. And I've had like a really great time with you today. I know. Thank I you for joining too. me. You're so welcome. <laughs> so okay. now you know what I would do to live gluten free and worry free. Now it's up to you. You ready to try it? I am. Okay, let's go. Ready? Go. Uh -huh. You're watching for real living. Hi, I'm Jeff Halavy. When you're looking to boost your energy, most of us turn to this, a cup of joe. But really, it's a workout that will give you the jolt you need. How to get energized today on Workout From Within. We're putting the fun back in fitness, not to your chest, but more to your hip area. There you go. That's it, let's go, come on. We gotta live it. Welcome back. We're getting energized and giving our bodies a jolt through fitness. And what better way than to put on the boxing gloves? Here to help me show you some energy boosting boxing moves you can do at home is Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi, how are you? Good, you ready to boost some, some energy Absolutely. here? Absolutely. Okay, so I think boxing is one of the best ways to do it. It requires you to actually be very alert and you're gonna mm -hmm. see that today, we're not just gonna be working on hitting the pads, you're gonna be working on defense because I'm gonna be hitting back. Uh-oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, so I hope you're ready for that. Now, of course, I'm, we're not gonna go crazy and I don't have gloves on, I have mm -hmm. mitts on but you will have to work your, your uh, defense. And that really does keep you a lot more alert. Anybody can stand there and just mindlessly punch away, okay? Absolutely. It's different to be reactive. So what I'd like to do first is just get you positioned over here. Now, the way we get in good boxing position mm -hmm. is by taking a uh, small, actually back up just one step for me. Take a small step forward with your left foot if you're a righty. Okay. okay. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and I'd like you to just bring your hands up to face level, okay? And bring them just a little closer in. Now, the reason you want your hands close is if you had your hands far out like this, mm -hmm. okay? I always like to drill boxing, whether it's, you know, I don't do cardio boxing because you get the, the, the benefits, like all those classes. I don't really do that. Right. But you always want to pretend it's real. And the problem with the hands forward like this is if we were actually fighting, I would just do this. Oh, I see. I'd be able okay. to come yeah. right. So you always want the hands close. You want to, you have a pretty face, you want to protect it, okay? Thank you. Okay. So the idea is to always have the hands nice and close. Now, next, most people know somewhat how to throw a punch. So if you're gonna throw a jab, which would be your lead hand, you're just gonna kind of turn your hip and turn your uh, ankle and extend the arm. So jab. Now, what happens when, when you punch somebody in the face? They want to hit you back, Fair okay? Enough. Okay. <laughs> so what we're going to drill right now is reacting to that next move that I might do. So okay. you're going to throw your jab, mm -hmm. and now that you're back in your in your boxing stance, I'm going to throw a big looping right hand. Now the way it is, you know, <laughs> don't worry because I'm not, I'm not going to throw it very fast. Okay. The way you're going to get out of the way uh -huh. is by ducking the punch. Okay. okay. So I'm going to come, and what you're going to do is in your boxing guard, and this is great by the way for getting your legs in shape. This works the lower body phenomenally, is you are going to squat down in order to avoid getting hit. Okay. So you're gonna throw your jab, and you're gonna do, keep your hands up. Sorry. Okay? <laughs> and you're gonna do a small, that's it. Now you don't have to go that low. Don't forget, you don't want to move any more than you have to, because sure. ideally you wanna be in a position where you can dish it back, which is gonna be the next step, okay? okay? Great. <laughs> so we're gonna throw the jab. Now we're gonna get out of the way, just a little bit. Now when you come back, I want you to throw another jab. 
all right? So in real life, it might have been, I'm moving in, you mm -hmm. stopped me by punching me in the face, I didn't like that so much, so I tried <laughs> to hit you, and now you're gonna hit me again, okay? Right. So you're gonna try and punish me double for every single time I try to Wonderful. hit you, okay? okay? So let's work that one more time. So it's gonna be a jab, you're gonna duck under, and jab again. Now we're gonna start incorporating the right hand as well, okay? Great. The right hand is the power hand for mm -hmm. right. So we're gonna throw a cross, you're gonna throw that right hand, all right? Now I'm gonna come from the other side, and you are, go, hold on one second, oh. so these hands are <laughs> dropping, okay, you wanna protect your face. I'm gonna throw this, you're just gonna move, go ahead, duck, and you're gonna come back and throw that hand again, all oh. right? Let's try that one more time. So the power hand, I'm gonna come back in, you're gonna get right underneath it, and throw it up top again, all right? Now, we're gonna put the two together, all right? <laughs> boxing is all about combinations, and that's one of the reasons that I really enjoy boxing is that, you know, boxing and kickboxing, I should say, sure. because I love my <laughs> Muay Thai. Um, the, 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 uh, the, the, the fun of boxing is being reactive and putting together these movements so that they're almost, it's like dancing, it's like right. second nature. And I know you're a dancer. I am. <laughs> so you can appreciate choreography. Every good fighter is really a, a, a choreographer at the end of the day because they know how to put together combinations and they've done it so many times that it's automatic. Okay. Let's get the hands back up, All okay? Right. We're gonna do a jab. Okay. I'm gonna come back at you, don't forget, okay? Mm -hmm. You're gonna come up and jab me again. Now you're gonna throw a cross. You're gonna slip out of the way, and you got your right. All right. Now, I'm gonna challenge you to do it just a tad faster, okay? okay. We're not gonna go super fast. Remember to keep your hands all up, right. all right? <laughs> so that's the, it's the number one mistake that almost everybody makes, even in amateur fights. You see the hands, even at, actually I should say at a professional level, is the hands start to drop. And when right. hands drop, people get knocked out, sure. all right? Okay. So let's keep the hands up. <laughs> We're right. pretending it's real, okay? You're gonna jab. I'm gonna come back at you, throw another jab. You're gonna cross, I'm gonna come back at you, you're gonna throw another cross. You're gonna jab, I'm gonna come back at you, you're gonna throw another jab. Cross, back at you, cross. Very good, all so right? So much fun. <laughs> and it is, See, yeah. and it's, it's, you know, and I saw that you were having fun. This is a lot of fun, that sort right. of, you know, getting into a rhythm and working a drill. Now, everybody always wants to know about uppercuts. It's like, every, for some reason, it's everybody's favorite punch. It just sounds fancy. Right, it just yes. sounds cool, right? And maybe we've seen like Mike Tyson back in the day knocking Absolutely, people out with these yeah. crazy. Everybody always wants to know about uppercut. So we're gonna work an uppercut now, okay. but we're gonna set it up with the jab, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is remember that jab is that lead mm -hmm. hand, and then the uppercut always goes to the chin. Now to throw that, see I knew you were gonna do that. That's why I didn't show you first. <laughs> with a good, what happens when you do this is you open yourself wide up once again to get hit in the face. Okay. So what you wanna do to throw an uppercut is actually just lean in. You get a tremendous amount of lower body work through uh -huh. boxing. Okay. So you wanna lead in, Mm -hmm. Lean in, I'm sorry, okay? This way? You kind of like corkscrew. You see how I'm sitting back a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah. Okay? Do the same. From here, keep the hand up, and then you're going to drive up and in. So you're protected the whole time, and you're gonna drive through that right. rear leg. Okay. So let's go ahead and try. You're gonna lean back. Good. That's sort it. Of? That's the okay. idea of an uppercut. Let's do it again. Oh. Slip again. <laughs> cross one more time. Jab, uppercut, slip. Cross. Excellent. <laughs> so much fun. Great job. Thank you. Coming up next, we have energy boosting foods and later on, recharge with restorative exercises. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. Okay. All right. Namaste, I'm Jai Sugram, and yoga is my life. My show, Yoga Sutra Now, unites India's powerful teachings from the past with the present. You can de-stress, build strength, and learn to connect body and mind wherever you are. It just takes practice. The journey to self-knowledge begins here on the mat. Together, let's explore. You'll be surprised how your world changes. Experience Yoga Sutra now with Jai Subram. Weekday mornings at 7 on Varia Living. The psoriasis on my feet was so bad that it felt as if I were walking on broken glass. If you suffer from psoriasis, you know it can feel like a curse. I was hiding in the house all the time. I didn't want to be out with the public at all, didn't want people seeing me. If you're tired of the pain and embarrassment of your psoriasis and would like to take control of it, then you want Extract by Photomedics, the global leader in targeted therapy for psoriasis. Extract can clear your psoriasis in weeks with no harmful side effects. Extract treats all psoriasis areas. The in-office treatment takes no time at all. After the treatment, often I hear, I couldn't even feel anything. Are you done? You do not feel a thing. She'd go, and then it would be done. Extract is cleared by the FDA and recommended by over 2,000 dermatologists. I was seeing results within like two or three treatments. 
Extract is covered by all major insurance companies and Medicare. One of the worst areas was my right elbow, and after about two months, you can see it's totally clear. Act now and you can qualify to be reimbursed for any co-pays until you see results. It feels great. You know, it's like, oh my gosh, now I know how everyone else feels that has a healthy scalp. So call now for your no-cost treatment at an extract clinic conveniently located near you. We can see you right away. For all the folks who have given up hope on their psoriasis and felt like there is no solution, I would love for them to come in and give our extract treatment a try and see what a difference it can make in their lives. Stop suffering from psoriasis. Take control today with extract. Call 1-800-909-1945 for your no-cost extract treatment at a location near you or go to useextract.com right now. So call 1-800-909-1945. Welcome back. Fitness is only part of the equation for getting energized. What you eat is just as important. Here with foods that'll fill you up and fuel your body for hours is registered dietitian Katie Cavuto Boyle. Welcome, Katie. Thanks for having me. Let's start at the top. Breakfast. Why is it so important? I mean, we've heard it a million times, haven't we? Most important meal of the day. Exactly. Right? We're breaking our fast. This is how we get energized for the rest of the day. So, mm -hmm. making sure that we're eating something for breakfast is a way to start our day right, get some fuel into our system, and really kickstart our metabolism throughout the day. And breakfast can be tough for some people, so some good options. I always say drinking your breakfast might be easier if you're the type of person that just isn't hungry in the morning. So, maybe a green. The drinking your breakfast doesn't yeah. mean coffee. Doesn't mean okay. coffee or many of those other unhealthy. Or like one of the flat, you know, those energy shots. Totally. Or, yeah, yeah. No. I mean, maybe making a smoothie. And a quick tip is actually filling your smoothie like basin, your um, your blender basin, the night before. Fill it with all your ingredients, mm -hmm. and all you do is wake up in the morning, pop it onto your blender, give it a whirl, and you're ready to go. And now I see in front of me, I see some grains. Yes. Give me the lowdown on on grains. You know, I think people are feel f fearful of carbohydrates, and they shouldn't be. Our primary source of energy. Carbophobic, I think. Exactly, is the term, that's right? an awesome yeah. term. <laughs> yeah, our primary source of energy is carbohydrates. Our brain lives off of carbs for fuel, but making sure that we're making good choices. So whole grains are key. Skipping all the refined stuff that's out there. And sticking with something like a whole grain bread, or even better, is getting back to the basics and doing an actual whole grain. So something like a quinoa, a millet, a brown rice, even a spelt, and just sticking to the basics and getting some really high fiber whole grains into our diet. Very important not to cut them out because not only you know, does your brain need them to, to function. So if, if your brain's not functioning, you're dumb, but they also affect your moods. So you're gonna be depressed and stupid. And what, that's a, <laughs> not a very good combination. Depressed, stupid, and tired. Yeah, speaking of, <laughs> I mean, depressed, stupid, tired, nuts. Um, just kidding, nuts, the nuts that we have in front of us. Why, why are nuts um, uh, so important as an energy source? Why, why are they reliable? Two reasons. One, making sure that we have protein in our diet. Pairing proteins with carbohydrates will help to actually slow down the di digestion of our carbs, mm -hmm. so more even keel energy levels. That way we don't get that quick spike and then the plummet, which nobody wants. Plus, really good source of magnesium, and magnesium helps to convert sugar into energy, right. which is the key. Plus, I mean, it's an easy way to snack. I always, snacking is important, doing those multiple multiple meals a day, continue to fuel your metabolism, continue to get your energy levels going, and mm -hmm. nuts are a really easy thing to snack now, on. Is there a nut, because the thing is, I, I'm sure people at home watching this too, peanuts are not, number they're one, they're not legume, nuts, right? they're a legume. I don't think many people know that. And then is there, do you believe there's a hierarchy of nuts? In other words, like, are almonds better than cashews? Or, right. I mean, what do you feel? You know, I think almonds are so popular, that's kind of the go-to nut, but mm -hmm. walnuts, is, is we're talking like omega-3 fatty acids, anti-inflammatories, right. all that good stuff. Walnuts are really high up there, and pistachios as well. I think that we all go to the almond, but there's actually a lot of other nuts, and I like pistachios because they take a little bit longer to eat. Gotta and crack, we even I always go exactly. for the ones that like, you you hurt your fingernail, right. you know, like, and, well, I think and it's like a one, mission like, just to get mission. that one nut. Now, now beans. Beans. Beans, beans, they're good for your heart. heart. I'm going to leave we the rest out, that. but tell me why that they're they're great you know, for we hear energy levels. the word superfood over and over and over again, and I think that beans are probably the best superfood out there. Mm -hmm. They're an excellent source of really good carbohydrates, like we talked about, plus protein, plus fiber. 
that's the complete package. It's gonna really, it's gonna take longer to digest. Mm -hmm. We're getting all of these amazing Fiber nutrients. Fiber keeps you full. Fiber keeps you full. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be satiated longer, better glycemic control, blood sugar control, so even keel energy levels, really filling and just really, really good for you. And you can do some really fun snacky stuff like roast some chickpeas. Mm -hmm. I know there's like roasted edamame that you can pop as a snack and just making some beans and incorporate them into your meals. It's a great way to go meatless as I am, well. I'm a big fan of the bean. Nice. I'm also a big fan of the green. So oh tell me, greens, why why are we yeah. why are we focusing on greens for energy? I have my fun little mantra that I tell everyone, nuts, seeds, beans and greens. Those are the things that we should incorporate into our diet every day. Dark leafy greens are probably the closest thing to a multivitamin in a food. Yeah. Really, really excellent source of folate, and different studies have shown that, uh, that deficiencies in folate can cause depression. We know that depression causes fatigue, and honestly, if there's one food that you want to include into your diet, it's dark leafy greens. Mm -hmm. No, we're not talking about, so people think like leafy greens and they think lettuce. We're not no, talking no, about not iceberg lettuce, lettuce <laughs> that is just filling. It's good, I mean, if you want to just kind of fill your stomach up, that works, sure. but iceberg lettuce, no. no, we're talking about your kale, your spinach. Kale, spinach, shard, watercress, arugula, and they're really easy to incorporate. Things like kale chips, if mm -hmm. you don't want to just saute up some Love them, love them, yeah. Amazing, but just sauteing up some greens, adding them into that green smoothie as a way to start your day. Mm -hmm. These are probably the most important food that you can include in your diet if we're thinking nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and just all around the Absolutely, stuff. and my advice to you is that, you know, many people say that they can't fit in, you know, greens into their diet. Yeah. Start every meal with a salad. I mean, it's awesome. it's really that easy. It's you know, I think I'm I'm an ease of ease of use kind totally. of guy. Dehydration. Yeah. We got to talk dehydration. Why do we need water? Dehydration equals fatigue. And I think it's really, really important. Most people don't really think about what they're drinking. So making sure that we're hydrating, making sure that we're drinking water throughout the day. If you're really the type of person that's like, water, I just can't do it. Couple other options. Coconut water is mm -hmm. really rich in um, nutrients like potassium. Sure. So they're great for hydration. They have a little bit more flavor, still low calorie. And another great tip, I love taking like fruity herbal teas and steeping them in a pitcher in the refrigerator. Natural sweetness. You don't need to add any sugar, and it's almost like getting a juice drink, but really rich in antioxidants. I'm with you. So good We're out of time. Awesome. You are a uh, just an absolute well of information. I feel <laughs> like I just that. wind you up and let you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> Stick around because coming up next, we have easygoing exercises for energy. Water, of course, like so important. I'm more than my dry hands. My sensitive skin and shiny forehead. I'm Vata. I am Pitta. I am Kappa. I know my inner dosha. Do you? Introducing Vorea Inner Dosha, 5,000 years of Ayurveda healing wisdom combined with botanically rich all natural ingredients to create perfectly balanced products for your skin, hair, and body. Discover your inner dosha type by taking our quiz at VoreaID.com. Get ready for a phenomenal skincare offer from Meaningful Beauty Advanced by Cindy Crawford. In the next 60 seconds, learn how you can get some of the same magic that's kept Cindy's skin looking so youthful for over 17 years. And save over 50% off the regular Meaningful Beauty price. Stay tuned. Deep in the French countryside lies the secret to one of the most exciting advances in skincare today. It is here that the man known as the youth guru, Dr. Jean-Louis Sabat, found the signature ingredient at the heart of the Meaningful Beauty system. That ingredient? An extract from a rare melon, which local scientists discovered had astonishing youth-preserving properties. Watch as over time an ordinary melon wrinkles, ages, and decays, while this melon stays amazingly fresh and firm. No wonder they call this incredible antioxidant the youth molecule. The trick was getting that molecule into skincare, and that's what Dr. Sabah and his chemists were able to do. That is so unique to Meaningful Beauty. Meaningful Beauty has worked wonders on Cindy's skin and has produced incredible results for women just like you. That melon extract clearly works. Yeah, this is amazing stuff. When you put it on your skin, it immediately feels younger. I actually went to my dermatologist and she said, your skin looks fantastic, what are you doing? And I was like, it's Meaningful Beauty. Meaningful Beauty can be your secret to gorgeous skin too. Just call 1-800-361-9109 right now. Mention the special coupon code on your screen and you'll get the complete Meaningful Beauty system, a $119 value for just $39.95.
Plus, with today's special offer, Cindy will also send you two free gifts worth $45. You will feel the difference in your skin immediately. I mean it. Meaningful Beauty is the best product I've ever used on my skin. Give it a try. Call 1-800-361-9109 now. I'm Dominique Dawes, and there's a big advantage parents can give their kids. Making sure they get active at least 60 minutes each day. Studies show that physical activity not only helps kids stay healthy, it can enhance important skills like concentration and problem solving, which can improve academic performance. This means physical activity can help your kids in the most important game of all, life. We are getting energized today, and it's all about keeping that energy up for your home workout. And my next guest says the best way to do that is not by working out, but by working in. Welcome back, Daniel Xiao. Thank you. It's nice to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you again. Now, explain to me, what's the difference between working in and working out? Uh, working in, you're bringing energy into your body so you can utilize it throughout the day or rejuvenate yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's like putting energy in the bank. I like that. That's a good financial analogy. <laughs> so now, we're, now we're, we're, we're building a savings. We're building something that we can go to later on. Yes, yes. And, you, and you, it's like eating. The same thing. You're breathing in the energy or the chi, okay. and you're building it up in your body. You're storing it, and you store it for later, or you're rejuvenating at the end of the day, and you're replenishing your energy for later use at night or just even for a more peaceful sleep. And this is really important because most people think that, look, when you work out, you're expending energy. You're getting your heart rate up. You're not actually cultivating energy. So all these exercises cultivate energy and restore your body as well. Yes, yes. yes. Let's get into it. Okay, <laughs> no problem. Um, what we're doing is, that, well, usually at the start, you do all that um, a little bit of a warm jumping up. around okay. and bouncing like just this. Just to loosen the body? And just to like rebalance your body and okay. all that sort of stuff like that. And then after that, you, um, what you want to do is you want to get your breath, breath going. Okay. So when you're breathing, you want to breathe in, you breathe up, and then you breathe down. Okay. And then you're putting it in. So you're breathing in to your body. So you breathe into your center. But when you breathe, you want to breathe into here. Mm -hmm. so the lower like abdomen. The, the lower abdomen or your dantian, but you're... Uh, it's like a balloon, so you're blowing up your balloon. Right. So you're going up like this, then you come down like that. And then you can turn, and then it fills more of your energy as well. So you're breathing in, coming down, breathing in. And this is all qigong. Everything you're breathing into is all qigong. Mm -hmm. like and, ch and just remind you know, our viewers again about qigong. It has its origins in China? Uh, yes, in China. And uh, what it does is, um, it's like breath exercise, okay. you could say. There's so what are a few other moves that we can... Uh, well, there's, like, there's a basic move where you do for yoga. It's like salute to the sun. I think everyone knows the, that. Uh, sun salutation. Or sun salutation. Okay, yeah, yeah. That, yep. that one I've heard before. Yeah, sun okay. salutation. But and you and can what do is, that. So this is a yoga move. So this would be... Uh, yes. This more is more so of a yoga move. Okay. And uh, what I do is I sort of combine a couple of things with it. So you would start as you do. Okay. And... Uh, Sure the temple, uh, the temple or okay, and then you breathe in, and you breathe out. You come down, as you come down, you place your hands on the ground, well, as close as I can get yeah. to it, right? Uh, and you, go back, <laughs> you come back out like this. Okay. Then you do your, your salutation, like dog, downward dog. Uh huh. Breathing in, breathing out, coming back up, like that. Then you go back up into a plank. Okay. And then from there, you can go into one. Right. And then one hand comes up like this. And this is what I, when I play with kids, I mm -hmm. actually call it um, pass the parcel. And they have a piece of paper and they go next to each other. And they come under. And you oh, go, okay. Your hand underneath. A great rotational exercise. Yes. And you come up like this. So you're breathing out as you go down. Then you're breathing in as you come up. But you're breathing, still breathing into your core and your belly. And then you do the same. So other side. Sides. Come up and down. Go round, breathing out. Breathe in as you come up. So the breath lifts you. And then all you do to come back up, you can jump up or mm -hmm. place, place your legs up. And then you're curling back up. And then and you breathe in. Up, right? mm -hmm. Yeah, and you just come up. Mm -hmm. Now, when people are doing this, the whole idea is, now these are exercises. So mm. for some people, these can actually be, what we just did, it could be quite challenging. Yeah. What's your suggestion when someone is doing this and they're like, you know what, 
I don't think I'm working in anymore. Now I'm working out. Yes. What's yeah. the best way to approach that? Well, it's the way you breathe and okay. where you place your mind. Or the Chinese call it yi. Mm -hmm. So Y I. And you want to place your mind in your lower abdomen for this particular thing. Mm -hmm. So it's the third chakra that you put in here, or your dantian, or the haro, the Japanese call it. And what, what's the significance of that, of it, that chakra? It brings your energy down, and it helps you uh, balance. Okay. Balance yourself. This being the center of gravity and... It's the center of gravity. I see. So you want to leave, bring it all down. Okay. But then there's another exercise you can do, which is another qigong, sort of qigong tai chi exercise. Okay, let's see it. And you're standing like this. It's called... Um, a crane, it's a crane exercise. Mm -hmm. So you sing like this, then you're coming up, breathing in, mm -hmm. breathing out, coming down, and then you open out. You see. And that, you know, that, and that to me almost looks like Tai Chi. Uh, it, yeah, it is. It's, tai Chi and Qigong are very closely very related. Very closely interrelated. And it, because the Qigong helps you breathe during the Tai Chi. Uh-huh. So it really helps. Let's have a look at that one more time. So you're, you're sitting down, start, and you come up. Good, keep demonstrating. Come down, That's breathing great. in, breathing out. Excellent. Thank you so much for, nice. uh, for dropping welcome. by. These are all great exercises. Nice. We'll be right back. Um, that one really, to me, looks good. Listen up. It's time to meet the go-to girls. Peggy K serves up delish holistic cures. Green tea is amazing when it comes to your memory. Nirmala whips up spicy Ayurvedic creations. It's smoking like you, baby. <laughs> Juliana dishes with wellness experts on what's best. I love it. Dr. Holly separates health facts from fiction. That myth can be busted. Together, they're a posse arming you with info and tips to keep you healthy and well. Power up with the go-to girls. Weekdays only on For Real Living. <laughs> Are you suffering from sinus congestion and allergies? Get fast relief with new My Pure Mist, the first handheld steam inhaler providing superior comfort naturally and quickly. Steam is a natural decongestant used by millions and is so effective that leading medical institutions recommend it. My Pure Mist uses patented CFE technology previously only available with FDA cleared hospital ventilators. The uniquely fine CFE mist penetrates deep into your sinuses, throat and lungs, providing superb relief from inflammation and congestion caused by allergies, sinus infections, the common cold and flu. With My Pure Mist, you simply push the on button to get instant germ-free steam without any presence of boiling water. It's cool to the touch and safe for kids, too. With My Pure Mist, there's no preparation, no waiting, no cleanup. And since it's handheld, you can conveniently use it anywhere, anytime. No wonder My Pure Mist has a five star approval rating on Amazon.com and receive rave reviews on leading doctor shows. My Pure Mist has changed my life. I can be outdoors, follow my passion of gardening, I can breathe and I can finally sleep well. Save time and money with My Pure Mist. No more drug side effects, no more uncomfortable neti pots, no boiling water, and no cleaning of humidifiers. Many of my patients have told me that this is the most effective form of humidification that they've ever experienced. It's really an, an amazing miracle machine for me because there is uh, nothing that comes close. Try My Pure Mist risk-free for 30 days for only $19.95. We'll even pay return shipping if you're not 100% satisfied. Call within the next 10 minutes to get free shipping and a free travel bag, a $25 value. Why suffer when you can get fast, natural sinus relief with My Pure Mist? Call 1-800-303-3340 or go to TryMyPureMist.com now for this limited time offer. That's 1-800-303-3340. The all-new VariaLiving.com is your home on the web for health and wellness, including tips from our experts and lots and lots of video. There's something else out there that you can do to heal yourself. The all-new VariaLiving.com. Go well. We've been getting energized all day, and I have a recipe for getting energized and most importantly, remaining energized because all of those energy drinks and those shots and all that stuff, it really does set you up for a crash. And also a lot of them are very unhealthy. So here's my recipe, and it's easy to remember because it's NRG. Get it? N-R-G for energy. The first one is nutrition. Do not eat foods that zap your energy. Which foods are these? 
They're obvious. They're processed foods and foods that are high in sugar. They're gonna spike up your insulin levels and then leave you with that massive drop and exhaust you. I mean, have you ever had that after lunch exhaustion? Guess where it comes from? It's not from eating, okay? Food's okay. It's from the garbage that you might be eating. So be mindful of what you're putting in your body if you wanna keep energy up. Number two is rest. Rest is so important. If you wanna have energy during the day, you cannot deprive yourself of rest rest at night. It seems like common sense, right? Are you doing it? Don't lie to me. Most people don't get enough sleep. It doesn't have to be eight hours. Look, six, seven, eight hours really is the best, but you need to actually get that amount of sleep. And that doesn't just mean getting in bed. You can't get in bed eight hours before you wake up and say, okay, now I'm, now I'm getting my eight hours. It's from the time that you actually fall asleep. So maybe you even need to get in bed earlier. All right. Last but not least, you have to remember to get up and get moving, all right? It's not enough to just sit down. Sitting down not only tires you, but the latest research shows that it actually kills. The act of sitting alone takes years off of your life. Don't believe me? Look at the research. So no matter what it is, just get up and get moving. Simple things that you can do right at your desk, like you get out of your seat and maybe do some squats. Maybe do some uh, uh, some walkouts, you know, where you where you walk your arms out on on the uh, on the floor, as I've shown on the show before. It doesn't make a difference. Get up and do this. Get up and do some jumping jacks. Just get up and move. The most important thing is, if you want to stay energized, remember it's not about what you can do to to apply as a band aid. Don't don't automatically turn to coffee. Don't turn to those energy shots. Do things that are actually good for you. Nutrition, rest, get up and get moving. I'm Jeff Halvey. I'll see you next time on Workout From Within. Welcome again to Under the Sun, the show that takes you around the world to find out about what you eat and how it grows. Wow, what a stunning view. Hi, I'm Nathan Leroy, and this week I'm in the stalwart of European tourist destinations, Spain. And not only am I gonna be bringing you more stunning views like this, and face to face with some interesting people that you might not normally meet, but I'm also gonna be delving deeper into the easy to prepare, deliciously tasty, and wonderfully healthy Mediterranean diet. So come and journey with me a while on Under the Sun. Cereals, pulses, veggies, fruit and herbs, fish, wine, and most important of all, my top favorite, real extra virgin olive oil. What we call the Mediterranean diet has actually been the traditional, naturally evolved eating lifestyle for centuries of the people who live along and around the Mediterranean coast. And it's this local food culture that I'm going to explore this week in Under the Sun. In Spain, the cereal component of the Mediterranean diet is rice. It was brought here in around the seventh century by the Arabs or Moors, who ruled parts of the country for centuries. My journey starts in the region of Valencia, somewhere along the center of the Mediterranean coast of Eastern Spain. In the tiny township of Sueca, about 33 kilometers south of Valencia city. Valencia is one of the largest rice producing areas of Spain, the region from which hails the famous mouth-watering Spanish delight, 